Years ago, in the distant lands of the Himalayas, there lived a man who possessed the secret of the Fountain of Youth. His name was Maharishi Katakeyaji Maharaj, a Himalayan yogic master reported to have lived to be over 300 years of age. The secret of his long life has remained hidden from much of the Western world. That is, until now. Our story begins at the source, deep in the Himalayan mountains. The secret of Maharishi Kartikeyaji's long life was an ancient form of yoga called Sukshma Vyama, a precious collection of advanced techniques that free the body from the ravaging effects of disease and aging. To those that have discovered its true potential, it has become known as the Yoga of Immortality. This self-healing art has been practiced by those serving some of the most demanding roles of their day, including government officials, respected scientists, and elite athletes. And it is these and more advanced techniques that have now formed the basis of Shakti Nam, a powerful yogic practice that allows the body to optimally express the blueprint of its DNA, bringing out the best version of that person. This yoga of youth and immortality first became known in India in the 1940s when Swami Dhirendra Brahmachariji, a devoted student of Maharishi Kartikeyaji, taught it to India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, who was later succeeded by his daughter, Indira Gandhi, also a devoted practitioner. In her own words, she writes, My father attributed his fitness to a lifelong habit of beginning the day with yoga asanas. I myself was initiated at an early age. Later, when my father and I met Sri Drendra Brahmachari, we learnt his system of Sukshma Vyama, which I found more convenient to follow as a keep-fit routine when one is rushed for time and constantly on the move. The great demands of being a political leader required huge reserves of strength, clarity and intelligence. And this form of yoga was called upon to support these public figures with their sacred responsibility to their country and people. These techniques had made such a profound impact on the Prime Minister's family that in the 1940s, the Indian government commissioned a film to share these benefits with the people. A city like any other. Everyone on the move, hustle and bustle. But ponder a while and see what's actually happened. Yes, most of them look supercharged, but in fact, they are merely on their way to work. They start the day with a bang, and soon the chairborne army lose themselves in files and books and papers. Exhausting work for the brain, but work that doesn't demand physical exertion. They're at it for eight hours or more every day. Files, books, papers, discussions and counter-arguments. And when it's time to close the files and books and papers, they rise from their chairs looking very much like worn-out rags. Indeed, a tired, listless army of men and women now under charge. A sad but true commentary on life in our city. The office girl returns home, sweet home. He's hardly exercised a muscle but you'd think he's done nothing else all day long. Weary, worn out, it seems the wrong moment to tell him that what he needs is regular daily exercise. But that's the truth. Over the centuries in our country, a number of systems of exercises designed to make the body more fit and better able to bear the stress and strain of everyday life has been evolved. Our Indian exercises are simple in technique and easy to practice. They generally require little time and no accessories. 
and are suitable for all, young and old. With the great advancements in technology over the last few decades, our way of life has only become more demanding. Our minds are in a continuous loop of processing an endless stream of information. Most of us spend hours sitting at our desk working on the computer. We live a fast-paced, stress-driven life, and the changes to our lifestyle have caused detrimental effects to our health. In his numerous travels throughout the world, especially in India, Dr. Levery has met various masters from whom he received many advanced yogic techniques. One of Dr. Levery's spiritual journeys to India led him to Sri Balmukhan Singh Ji, a master teacher that served as the right-hand man of Swami Dharandar Brahmachari Ji. Sri Balmukhan Singh Ji was personally trained by Swami Dharandar himself in the mountains, forests and ashrams of the Himalayas. He was also the yoga demonstrator for Swami Ji's nationally televised program on health and wellness through yoga, which ran for nearly a decade in the late 1970s and early 1980s in India. During his extensive training, many personal and secret yogi techniques were shared. Now, Sri Balmukhan Singh Ji has passed this secret and ancient traditional yoga practice directly to Dr. Levery, which has formed the foundation of Shakti Nam, a modified form of the advanced yogic practice of Sukshma Vyama. Based upon the traditional yogic principles of Sukshma Vyama, Shakti Nam is an anti-aging practice, an ageless yoga that fills the body with life, slows down the aging process and removes the signs of old age. To develop the shoulders, stand erect, arms pressed to the sides, fists closed, inhale through the mouth, blow out the cheeks, tilt head, hold your breath, move shoulders up and down with force. The abdomen. Inhaling through the nose, inflate the stomach fully and hold that position for as long as you can. Then exhaling, deflate the stomach. A variation. With your hands on your waist, bend forward. Then inflate and deflate the stomach as fast as you can. With your arms stretched forward, begin inhaling and lower yourself to a sitting position. While getting up, swing your arms in a circular fashion. Raise your arms above your head. Bend the upper part of the body backwards and return to normal position, breathing out. Shakti Nam has a rich and royal lineage. It is an ancient and secret part of a higher yogic science unknown to most schools of yoga in the world today. The name Shakti Nam is a combination of Shakti, the universal creative power, and Nam, the cosmic sound current vibrating through all of creation. Shakti Nam is a spiritual art and science that merges the rejuvenating techniques of Sukshma Vyama with the power of the sound, the word, or nam as it is referred to in the Vedic scriptures, to greatly magnify the already potent healing effects of sukshma viyama on the mind and body. When we study the Vedic texts, we become exceedingly aware of the emphasis placed on nam, the creative word recognized by every sacred teaching 
as the primal energy flowing through all life. How did the suspicious union come about, you may wonder? It was in December 2004, while traveling in India, that Dr. Levery first met Baba Versa Singh Ji, a holy man full of love, goodness, and compassion. Baba Versa Singh Ji blessed Dr. Levery by bestowing upon him the gift of Nam. It was this spiritual and mysterious encounter that sparked the birth of Nam Yoga, which is now gracefully merged with the powerful practice of Sukshma Vyama to give birth to Shakti Nam. The significance of this rare meeting with Baba Versa Singh Ji cannot be overstated, for it was Baba Sri Chan Ji, a yogi known to have tremendous spiritual power, with the help of his father, Guru Nanak, the founder of Sikhism, that originally bestowed the gift of Nam on Baba Versa Singh Ji. Through Shakti Nam, we can now trace this pure and direct lineage back to Baba Siri Chand and his father, Guru Nanak, the first Sikh Guru, who was born in the year 1469. Our story, however, does not end here. Let us go back even further to the great Hindu sage Patanjali and the foretelling of the coming of Guru Nanak in the Vedic scriptures. Patanjali is thought to be the father of yoga as we know it today. In this karmic age, which the Vedas refer to as the Kali Yug, the time period we are living in right now, Nam was heralded as humanity's saving grace by the ancient scriptures, including the Vedas and Puranas and by Patanjali and Vyasa dating back to as early as 2100 BC. Throughout humankind's collective history, there have always been those that preserved the light of divine spiritual wisdom for the coming generations so that humanity may never lose their birthright of reconnecting with their divine source. This is the precious wisdom that teaches humanity how to work with the cosmic sound current, or Nam. In the physical world, we speak to each other through speech, but to communicate with the heavens, we need Nam. It was Nam that St. John the Baptist referred to in his Gospel when he said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Everything comes from the Word. Everything comes from Nam. The same theme runs across all sacred scriptures. All the powers of the universe are contained in Nam, which is the Logos, the Verbum. And it is the repetition of Nam that is vital in this karmic age, which the Vedas refer to as the Kali Yug. That is why the Hindu poet Saint Goswami Tulsidas has said, Kaliyuk Kival Namadara Simara Simara Nar Uttaran Para. In our present age of Kali Yug, it is only by vibrating Nam will human beings sail through the deep sea of the world. Only Nam will give bliss, peace, and liberation. In the Ramayana, the great epic of Hinduism, it is written, Nam was the ruling means for spiritual liberation in all the four ages. In Kali Yuga especially, there is no other means. Adding, those that repeat the Nam are blessed. Guru Nanak himself has said that only those that recite the Nam are liberated and peaceful. The healing power and beauty of Shakti Nam comes from the fact that it brings together Sukshma Vyama from Maharishi Kartikeyaji Maharaj, who himself lived to be over 300 years of age, and Nam. This is the very Nam spoken of by Patanjali, the father of all yogas, the very Nam spoken of by Guru Nanak, the first Sikh Guru, and by the poet Saint Tulsidas. And through this rare union, the powerful benefits of Sukshma Vyama on the body and mind are greatly enhanced. Shakti Nam is also deeply infused with the Western esoteric lineage of divine spiritual wisdom, dating back to ancient Egypt and beyond the dawn of humanity. Shakti Nam's tea posture, for example, contains the six-pointed star, 
a profound symbol which represents the perfect balance between fire and water and is symbolized by the vertical and the horizontal line. While other Shakti Nam postures such as star pose feature the divine proportion, also known as the golden ratio, as we find it in Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. This is the ideal human posture of mathematical and natural perfection, and it re-establishes the perfect balance and harmony of our physical, emotional, and mental bodies. Shakti Nam is a deeply healing, highly evolved practice. It can carry humanity across the turbulent ocean of karmic waters of this age with grace. Shakti Nam is direct, efficient, and powerful. It offers numerous health benefits not found in other systems of fitness, yoga, or meditation in the world today. In fact, this rare healing system creates a pronounced relaxation response within three minutes of beginning a class. Furthermore, the standing style of Shakti Nam Yoga helps prevent and assist in healing obesity and its many associated health issues. Shakti Nam Yoga enhances the body's capacity to nourish itself, bringing oxygen to the brain, strengthening the heart, clearing the energetic pathways of the body, and detoxifying and nourishing the organs. The popularity of Shakti Nam under the umbrella of Nam Yoga has been growing exponentially, with three subsequent world record breaking superclasses led by Dr. Levery in Mexico City. It is bringing a global movement of love, peace and light to people from all walks of life. Under the guidance of Dr. Levery, Shakti Nam continues to spread, being heralded as humanity's collective gift for the new age, a priceless offering for the benefit of all humankind. <laughs>